Form Next 2025 and quite possibly the unicorn at the show. Hey, Mike. Hi. Good to see you, Joel. Good to see you again. Famously, at a previous show, Mike and his Tolomer stood the test between four people on either side trying to break a small ring of it. I really had a good time with that. And then we actually made some shorts out at HQ, right? We did. Yes, you came. We made several shorts together. Really quickly, the elevator pitch for Tolomer is that it is a material printed fast and it creates fibers and the strength is there, right? Very high strength, very high stiffness. And also it's got some other fundamentally great properties. It's the lowest outgassing of any polymer. It's equivalent to metals. No other polymers like that. Oh yeah, so when you're printing with it, you, there's nothing going there's no, out there's into the nothing. air, or and, very, very little. And for applications like in vacuums and aerospace, they really want low outgassing. That makes sense. It's fundamentally uh, flame resistant. The surface chars in a, a carbonaceous layer, so it's the most one of the most flame retardant polymers. Oh, oh, that's right, because they always look in polymers, it's the, the, the charring, self-extinguishing, and like the drip, right? right? And it doesn't do any of that. It doesn't that. do any of that. That's really cool. And Tolomer itself, I remember when we went out there last time and we made these shorts and we talked about it, it was still in that infancy of printing where we were just printing the Tolomer itself. Correct. And it was always a little bit difficult, and I was always trying to find that better machine to print it, something with a higher build plate temperature, higher nozzle temperature, but speed was important, right? Yes. Why was that? Because we align the crystals. It's the only material that you can align crystals to get unbelievable strength, basically. So we, we, we shear it in order to get the crystals to orient into fiber-like materials to get fiber-like properties. Well, and the, the, we're shearing it really fast at a really low layer height too, correct? Right. It's between 0 0.05 and 0 0.1, basically. But now, here's what's really cool. Development has been happening. You and your wizards of staff have been working really hard at improving the Tolomer. And so before we get into the, the cool stuff that we're gonna talk about, what improvements have been made to Tolomer since we last spoke? Yeah, so one of the um, things we've been working on is the adhesion in the Z direction. So we've increased that by a factor of five through process, basically. One of the key things was identifying what's the best nozzle temperature. And we found that it has to be at least 330 degrees centigrade to improve the adhesion. So it's gone up by a factor of five, so it's significantly better. Was there a chemical change to the material? No. Or was, oh, it was a spe it's purely specifically processed. processed. It's oh. purely processed, yeah. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool that, that your material, this, this unicorn material that you've made, it was just the process that made it better. It was the process, yeah. And we're still working on it. We're learning a lot. We've improved the surface finish a bit. We've got more work to do on that, but we've got other ways of improving that too. Well, the biggest improvement, I think, is what we're about to share because we're going to talk about compositing yeah. Tolomer, correct? Yeah. What? Here's a part. This is a composite Tolomer part. What do we got on the outside? The outside is polycarbonate, and what we're doing is, is we're, we're taking a dual nozzle printer and printing two different materials. We're printing our material on the inside as fibers, and you can print them in, in a, either one direction or you can print them in a crisscross pattern like a typical composite. And then you put on top of that another material. In this case, it's polycarbonate. And so what that does is it takes polycarbonate and other materials, and we're stiffening it and strengthening it, and we're putting the polycarbonate on the outside, and that actually improves the adhesion and also improves the surface finish. That's great. Like, Mike, that's like a, that's like a cheat code for this stuff because polycarbonate by itself, great material, but it, it's, it's a little ductile. It moves. Yes. It's, it's got some squish to it. Yeah. But this has, a, what, a 10 or 20% Tolomer load in it? Yeah, we, we can put in 10 or 20% with polycarbonate or other materials and improve their strengths to be equivalent to peak, basically. And you're having to print a solid or a semi-solid peak part, but instead you're using a 10 to 20% Tolomer load and polycarbonate or PET or PA6, a, a nylon, and you're giving it like, okay, so this polycarbonate part, it's stiffer now. Yes. It's way, way stiffer. Yeah. Way stiffer. And, and I think what's important, and correct me if I'm wrong, we're now allowing lower cost materials to perform in places where people have typically put higher cost materials. Correct. And also the other thing, as you know, is we're using um, a low cost printer to do it. You don't need a peak type printer. No, this, not at all. This is a um, bamboo H2D that we've been working with so far, but there were other there were other printers of that category. So we're trying to be printer agnostic and open source printers. 
Well, I like that you're doing the development in a way where you're utilizing common tools. Right. So if we talk about the strength increase for, let's see, I've got it up here, polycarbonate, it's got a 54 MPA rating for tensile strength. Right. Okay, 54, that's, right. that's okay. PET 35, nylon 6, 62. Right. Now, the sheet behind me says peak is 100, right. and carbon fiber peak is what, 126, right. which is definitely higher. But then once we put in a 10 or 20% tolomer load, we're performing better than carbon fiber peak That's right. with a cheap material. Right. And a cheaper process, to, a cheaper printer to manufacture. Right, right, because the, the printer printing that carbon fiber peak is not the bamboo h 2 No, it's not, it's not, yeah. So what we're trying to do, as I told you a year ago, we're trying to democratize high performance printing. Yeah. So we, we, we've been, we, we did that initially with pure tolomer and we've been making improvements on, with printers like the uh, bamboo, but now we're doing composites, again, with a low-cost, ubiquitous printer, printing two different materials. And what the unique thing is, is that we're making the fibers in situ. We're not taking a pre-made fiber and bringing it into right. the printer. We're making the fibers in situ as we print. And so in doing that, and when we talked about the old way that we did it originally, we were talking about 0.05 to 0.1 millimeter layer height. When we're doing it in situ, does it still have to be that low? No, it can be thicker than that. It can, yeah. and you're still getting... The... We're still getting good properties, yeah. We're, really? still, we're still in the investigation st stage of all of the design rules, but right now, these are the properties that we get with reasonable types of uh, dimensions that are easy to print, basically. One of the things I wanted to show, we've got this piece of paper right here, how to print composite, like how to print the tolomer. This is, this paper unlocks the machine's capability. Right. These are the settings that you and your team have found to do tolomer compositing with generic materials and getting these crazy better than CFP strength. Right. It's perfect. Can I have this? Yes, that's for you, Joel. I appreciate you that. You have the first copy. We're introducing this at this uh, Form Next show, but I wanted you to talk about this first. Well, I, I appreciate to, that. And I want you to start printing this, basically, and report on it. Well, this is cool. So what I can do is I can take this back to my studio. I do have a couple spools of tolomer. Good. And tolomer is not hygroscopic, so I didn't have to worry about drying right. it. And I've got nylons. I've got PC. I've got PETs. In fact, Polymaker just released a brand new PET. Okay. And so I might give that a try with the tolomer and just see what kind of strength we can get. I don't know. Well, and actually, people out there, if they want to try this as well, they should probably reach out. You should reach out, and if you have good ideas for applications, we, we can help with the profiles. And we want people to find the best applications for this approach. So we're a materials company, and we want to, want to be working with the end user who can come up with the best applications for the material. So, That's cool. This is really exciting. Mike, um, I know there's limited time here at Formnext and everybody's got places to go, but before we leave, why don't you look in the camera and tell everybody to go somewhere where they can find out more about Tolomer. Yeah, so go to our website, um, www.z-polymers.com basically, and we have there um, information about Tolomer, about the uh, pure polymer and the composite polymer, and you can send email to info at zpolymers.com if you have any questions. Yeah, oh, this is exciting. Hey, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, and print all of these stronger than CFP things. And as always, high five. You know what?